She said just keep it on the low Don't nobody gotta know, baby Don't nobody gotta know She said just keep it on the low Listen, what you just heard was absolute fire Shout out to my boy uh, Noski, an up and coming rapper He's from Houston, he also has ties uh, to Chicago He reps them big, he has a great flow, he has a great rhythm Check him out, at Noski Music This dude is on Spotify, he's on Apple Music, he's on YouTube, he's on Instagram Search up this guy, listen to him before he blows up Don't be that fan that's like, damn, I wish I would have heard him before he blew up but on to the video, ladies and gentlemen. The Houston Texans have a game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is the third preseason game, and I think the absolute biggest, right? This because you've been playing so good defensive-wise the past two weeks that you want to carry it on onto this third preseason game. And what better than to continue, you know, this defensive efficiency than going against the Super Bowl champs? You know, first of all, we, you know, we have to see if the greatest quarterback of all time, Tom Brady, is going to play. Uh, <clears throat> whether he does or whether he does not, it's still going to be challenged. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. They have a great young um, second year, um, I believe a right tackle um, who dominated. You know, they have Leonard Fournette, they have Ronald Jones. We're going to see a bulk of the starting offense from this Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I really want to see how good this defense could do. I'm sorry about my dog, ladies and gentlemen. That's Odie. Shout out to Odie. But if we could see the success that this defense had against them, right, if we continue to put pressure on the quarterback, you know, no matter who it is, if we could continue to get our players in the backfield and we can continue to do good against the running game, then I have no doubt it's going to transition into week one against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Speaking of that, that's going to be a – we should absolutely slaughter them. But going back to the game and how I think – well, why I think this is the most important one, because not only that, but it also leads up until the game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And, and you're not going to play a game, you know, next week because of, you know, only having three preseason weeks. You know, you're going to get that week anyways. But now you're going to have a long time to focus, right? A long time to get ready. The only film that you're going to have to build upon is the, you know, is the game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I really want this defense to do good, man. Um, these linebackers will be put to the test against, you know, these running backs because Leonard Fournette is an absolute bruiser, and Ronald Jones is as well. Speedster guy could catch a ball out of the backfield. We need to put, you know, we need to see these wide. Re I'm sorry, we need to see these linebackers put to, you know, to the test. I want to see if Mike Evans and Chris Godwin and Antonio Brown. <clears throat> and company get out there but if the defense can have a successful day you know it's an a plus for the houston texans and i have no doubt that they would you know that they won't produce because they did it the past two games now on for the offensive side what i want to see is you know I want to see a bulk of Tyrod Taylor this half right give him the first and second quarter and maybe the first drive um you know, the first drive out of the, you know, halftime, you know, so you can make your adjustments, quote unquote. But I need to see what this offensive line can do. I need to see Brandon Cooks. I need to see Chris Conley. You know, we really haven't seen this offense have a full drive because of, you know, this defense being so damn good this preseason game. Having seven turnovers in two games. We had nine all of last season. They are continuing to put the Houston Texans office in great field position. And that's why this offense is able to do so good in short yardage when you have players like Mark Ingram, when you have players like Phil and Lindsay moving the rock. But we need to see this Houston Texans offensive line. Most importantly, we need to see Tyrod Taylor lead this team from the 25-yard line and try to score it into the end zone. That's what I want to see because Tyrod Taylor, you had one good drive against the Packers and then you had one good drive against the Cowboys and, you know, and ever since there, they haven't been so high. We've gone three and out. We've gone three and out. You know, some of those weren't really your fault, but that's just a small sample size that we saw of Tyrod Taylor. Guys, we still want to see if this guy could be, you know, a liable quarterback for us because some of the Houston Texans fans still have hope that they could be, you know, a good team. We need to see what Tyrod Taylor could do. Throw this man out there. 
Let's see. Let's see Nico Collins get involved, who we haven't heard a peep of in this preseason. We've heard so many great things about, you know, in training camp. But we haven't seen it translate to the preseason games. And why I'm focusing more on this offense, because, dude, the defense did a fantastic fucking job the past two games. Based on those two similar performances, I can concur that they're going to do the exact same thing or try to do the things that they did against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But why I'm sticking on this offense is because, you know, it really hasn't looked good. Davis Mills himself, once Tyrod Taylor gets out the game, Davis Mills needs to finish it. Give the ball to the kid. Let's see what this guy could do. If you want to leave him some of the starting offensive weapons, go ahead and do that. Hey, if Tyrod Taylor scores on a couple of the opening drives, you don't really need to see that much. Let's see what Ty I'm sorry, let's see what Davis Mills can do. You know, with the starting offensive line. You know, from the first week to the second week, I do think Davis Mills improved. We saw a little bit more of his arm, you know, um, most of his long passes were from the play action. We saw what he could do, you know, you know, when he's on the run in mobile. What we need to see improve is his short yardage, man, because his short yardage is not really that good. This bulk of the preseason probably will be the last time we see Davis Mills this season. Hopefully it's not. I do think we might see him in the regular season. But as soon as this game's done, this team is now Tyrod Taylor's. What can Davis Mills do? What can these rookies do? What can Brevin Jordan do? We've heard a lot of good things about him in a training camp as well. Only two, you know, only two catches on, you know, so far in the preseason. We saw a lot of Kiki QT. Which one of these young Ricky, I'm sorry, which one of these young wide receivers is going to make it? Is Scotty Phillips going to, you know, solidify his position and say, hey, we don't need David Johnson when you have me. Can Charlie Heck prove that he can be a formidable right tackle? Because that Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense, you know, if it's playing its starters, and I really hope they, you know, they do, we are going to see if Charlie Heck can hold against his own. But let me know what you guys think about this game. Shout out to the Houston Texans. Shout out to my, uh, shout out to my boy Noski. As always, you guys have a blessed day.